Hello everyone, Prince Rich with philosophyofdreams.com. I had some dreamers recently ask me, well it was a particular dreamer that basically said, hey you know Prince, I've been having this recurring dream for the past like month about me being on vacation. I'm always on vacation. Sometimes I'm like at the Bahamas, other times I'm on the beach, other times I'm surfing, but the main theme is I'm on vacation. I don't have a care in the world. I'm not really worried about when I've got to go back to work. I'm not worried about homework. I'm not worried about things like that. What does that mean? So let's talk about what does a dream about being on vacation mean, especially if it's a recurring dream. So I want you to think for a minute, what does vacation mean? What is the first thing that you think of when you think of vacation? You probably think of getting away, stress relief, relaxation, somewhere enjoyable, meaning somewhere that makes you happy. You obviously wouldn't go on vacation to, you know, the middle of the desert with no water or something like that. You wouldn't go on vacation to a swampy area with lots of mosquitoes, you know, where it's just completely muggy and hot and things like that. Some people do that. I'm not saying that's bad, but that's not what comes to mind when you think of vacation, you know. If you watch like commercials like a Carnival Cruise Line commercial or you watch commercials for some kind of excursion, they don't show people suffering in the desert or, or suffering in a swamp or something like that. So I think we can all agree that when you think of vacation, the first thing that comes to mind is relaxation, uh, you know, easing the mind, relieving stress. It's almost kind of like, you know, laying your baggage down for a temporary amount of time to kind of recollect your thoughts, get back to who you are, what it is you want in life, whatever it may be. This is exactly, for the most part, what vacation or especially recurring dreams of vacation mean. Now, there are some exceptions. <clears throat> Usually, and I've had this happen before, if you've got a vacation planned, most people, if they have a vacation planned, they're like really, 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 you know, sick with anticipation, like anxiety, anticipation, like, oh my God, I can't wait to go on this vacation. Uh, my wife and I actually went on a cruise once to the Bahamas. It was one of the best vacations we ever had, but I wanted to get a really good price on it. And so I actually had booked it, um, not only because of my schedule, because I wanted the good price, because of my schedule, and because I also have three kids, I had to book it a long time in advance because there were so many things that I had to plan. So I actually booked a cruise 16 months in advance. I know some of you right now are like, what the heck is wrong with that guy? But hey, you know, I like to plan things sometimes. Um, so 16 months in advance. And my wife can tell you, for that whole 16 months, that was all we could think about, especially when we got down to like the last like 60 to 90 days. We were literally like about to jump out of our skin because we couldn't wait to get the heck up out of here. So for those of you who have planned a vacation, one that you were really excited about and you just couldn't wait for, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. That is one exception of when you would have a dream about vacation. So that one's pretty obvious. There's no, oh my God, like huge telepathic or huge diamond in the rough, you know, dream interpretation meaning or analysis needed for something like that. It's obvious that if you've got a vacation plan and you have a dream like that, that's what that's for. The majority of dreams like that, if you don't have one planned and you haven't been on one in a while and you find yourself having a, a lot of dreams about vacation, it typically means simply one thing. It means that there is a deep emotional need it may not mean that you're making a conscious effort to do it, but it means subconsciously you know or your subconscious mind knows that you need, you, you mentally and psychologically you need to get away. That's simply what it means. Um, this would be common a lot with people that work long hours, work very stressful jobs, or they just kind of feel like they're stuck in life and they need some change, like they need something different. They're ready for what we would call like a big break or something like that. So. If you're having a lot of dreams, especially a recurring dream of going on vacation, I want you to stop and think, what is it, what is it in my life right now that I'm doing or that I have going on that is maybe kind of overwhelming me psychologically or overwhelming me emotionally? Because it may be that right now you can't afford to go on vacation or you just simply don't have the time to go on vacation that's causing you to have that dream. 
But that doesn't mean that you need to go on vacation in order to stop that recurring dream. You may just need to sit down, take out a pen and pad, or just sit down and collect your thoughts, or meditate. I'm a huge fan of meditation. And just find out what kind of emotional baggage, what is it that I'm doing in my normal day-to-day -day waking life that is creating the emotional baggage or creating the feeling of feeling stuck or feeling like you need to just get away from it all that is triggering that dream. Once you find that out or find whatever that one or more things is, if you reconcile that, find a way to either eliminate whatever it is that's causing that from your life completely or find a way to do whatever that is in your life that's causing that, uh, find a way to do whatever it is that's causing that dream to trigger differently or make it more enjoyable for yourself so you don't feel like it's like a daunting task, like, oh, I've got to get away from this. If you find a way to change that way of thinking towards that object that you find out is triggering that dream or eliminate that object triggering the dream from your life altogether, you'll find that you stop having that dream or you stop having it more often. So um, anyways, thanks for watching this video on what does being on vacation in a dream mean. If any of you have any questions, feel free to message me anytime. Um, you can comment on the YouTube or you can go to our website philosophyofdreams.com and you can message me and, and ask me any questions that you have about any type of dream like that and I'd be more than happy to uh, give you clarification. So again, I'm Prince Rich with Philosophy of Dreams. Thanks again for watching.